The realm of clinical psychology is very big. There's a lot of variety and there's a lot of different things that you can actually go into in terms of your own personal interest. What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. This is Phil's Guide to PsyD. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology. If you're interested in psychology, wellness, or even if you want a little bit of a sneak preview into what grad school might look like for you, then this is the channel for you. Now I'm super excited today because we're actually going to go over some of the specialties in the neuropsychology realm. Now, if you guys remember, I did a video not too long ago about clinical psychology and all of the number of specialties that there are in clinical psychology. There's actually 18 official specialties in clinical psychology, and then there's another form of subspecialties within some of those specialties. And so, as you can see, the realm of clinical psychology is very big. There's a lot of variety, and there's a lot of different things that you can actually go into in terms of your own personal interest. But today, we're gonna to be specifically talking about neuropsychology. Now, with that, our first specialty that we're actually gonna go into for neuropsychology is gonna be forensic neuropsychology. So, forensic neuropsychologists apply their expertise on the brain to certain legal issues. So they could be called as expert witnesses in a personal injury case, all right? So they may basically describe their clients in basically a, a form of physical or mental functioning for specific situations in the law or the legal realm. Now, what's important to mention is that this type of specialty is not necessarily an official training program that people can look into. It's really more so when you go into doctoral school and you get as much experience in a forensic setting as possible that you can maybe specialize in this field. Number two is gonna be cognitive neuropsychology. Cognitive psychologists focus on the relationship between the brain and functions such as memory, language, and perception, as well as attention and planning. And so once again, this is another form of neuropsychology that you could specialize in, all right? And then the last one, number three, is gonna be pediatric neuropsychology. Pediatric neuropsychology focuses on the relationship between the brain and behavior of children. So it's, very, it's gonna be very similar to neuropsychology, but the population that you may work with is gonna be specifically with children, all right? So that's kind of one of the, the differences when it comes to specialties of neuropsychology is that really the, the testing is gonna be the same, but it's gonna be more so specifically the population that's going to be different. So with forensic neuropsychology, you're obviously gonna be working more in a forensic setting. With pediatric neuropsychology, you're gonna be working with children. And then obviously with cognitive neuropsychology, you might be actually working with a lot of brain injuries or brain traumas, things like car incidents, car accidents, any type of thing that could really affect the brain in a huge predominant way, that might be something that you specialize in because you have that advanced training or perhaps additional certification in cognitive neuropsychology. And so actually that's really cool. You know, neuropsychology is actually one of the higher paying areas of psychology right now. The range for neuropsychologists is 58,000 to about 134,000. And it actually, it, the percentage of growth is expected to increase by 12% from 2012 and 2022. All right, so there we have it, guys. Three different specialties that you could look into if you're interested in neuropsychology. So definitely not as many specialties as the clinical psychology realm. As I mentioned before, clinical psychology has about 18 specialties. Now, if you guys remember, neuropsychology was a specialty off of clinical psychology. Once you go into clinical psychology, you could specialize in neuropsychology. And so this is, again, sort of a branch off of what you could specialize within neuropsychology. It could be from clinical psychology, then you have a specialty in neuropsychology. And then from neuropsychology, you have the option to branch out in a forensic setting, a pediatric setting, or even a cognitive setting. All right. So again, it, it may be kind of confusing, but I encourage you to do your research. I'll definitely put the link down below to some of the resources and the references that I got for the information for this video. But if you guys have any questions, definitely put it down in the comment section below. If you have not already, like and subscribe to this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.